All right, Mark, we're back with Scarlett. So I've got to tell you, we've got to work on building up her food drive. It's not good. And I don't remember, you know, these dogs in general maybe don't have the best, but um, you know, she's always been a selective eater, so you've got to actively build that. And the other thing, I know you don't want to hear this, but we've got to be much more surgical about how we put that collar on her. She's really developed. You know, maybe from that pet sitter or something, she's not going to let you put it on without looking to see what you're doing. Anyway, I'm getting her started with the platform because she doesn't know this. And, you know, this is for everybody at home. Northern breeds, they don't tolerate any correction. They'll do what you want if you show them what you want them to do. And it's within reason. But they don't suffer fools, and you can't force them to do things. So, anyway, let me see if I can just conjure up. Scarlet! So I'm assessing all the time. I'm not asking for sit or anything. I want it to be about movement in the beginning. I'm seeing that more and more. Once you start shutting that down, you know, but even right here, I'm letting her know. And I am adding my pager. <laughs> thing I'm planning on doing, because this dog hasn't seen me. These dogs are very complex dogs. Any northern breed, I'm just going to tell you right now, any attempt to pet the dog would be uh, foolhardy on my part. So. I want to be able to move the dog. If I can't move the dog out here, I'm not going to be able to move it beside me. I mean, I'm gonna be able to make it down and stuff, but that's gonna have its limits. Okay. I want her to remember it as oh, that's you know, something she'd get up for. I can get her to heal. Yay. Yeah, I'm using all my cheese, Mark, so no cheese and crackers this weekend. Yay. You know, but I'm letting her know, you know, and I'm, I'm going to tell her right now, if this dog jumped on me, I wouldn't correct her. I wouldn't have any reaction. These dogs are hyper aware. Precious angel. I'm operating this dog from right here. Stop. She didn't even like bumping into that dog in training. It's, it's the only thing. If, if you've got one that's a little, you know, she's not going to just come here and say, I'll jump around for you. She's been on vacation for a year and a half. So I, you know, I didn't get her out here and say, don't move. By encouraging her to move and adding the food and stuff to the movement, She doesn't know the platform. We didn't do this before I bought the platform. But if you said, well, she can't tell that's where you're going, I, I can teach this dog very easily the eye thing. Dog in training. So if you said this dog believes it's being forced to go there, no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. So I'm all in the 
I notice one foot, one foot independent of all the other feet. You know, if you don't say that, and the last piece of cheese. Um, if you don't say that, well, you're gonna have problems. You better hope it does it perfect every time. You better hope it never needs a micro adjustment. You know, so part of this dog, you know, I would say, you know, Mark, I want you to think of this dog. Not only do the arms have elastic, they completely retract in. There's like a thing and then they completely retract in, so, you know, but if you said, what are you controlling her with right now? I just, my movement, I can add my pager, stop, heel, yay, heel, yay. And then just add my dog and train. So that's where we're at and that's you know at home if you said well you need to jump right back in where you were when you last saw this dog you can't do that with these dogs if there is a sentient being in a dog it's these dogs it's these northern breeds the level of consciousness it's spooky it is spooky the level of consciousness these dogs have you better mark your every move if you really want to train one so anyway, that's where we're at. But you can see my pager adds motion. And the only reason the pager adds motion is because I added it when the dog was in motion. Anyway, and so I'm giving a special shout out at the end of this video to my friend Nicholas, who is my BFF. And I'm his GFF. I'm not sure what that means. But anyway, all the way in Greece. So that's where we're at, me and my husky. Hey, guys.